Hello and welcome to this walkthrough video. Let's take a look at the brand new devices, features and improvements of the Ableton 10.1 update. First of all, let me show you the user wavetable functionality of the wavetable device. In Live 10.1, you can simply drag and drop any WAV file audio into the oscillator section of the wavetable device. These WAV files can be predetermined wavetables or any WAV file audio that's on your computer. User wavetables can be used in two different modes. When you click the RAW button, the user wavetable is divided into over a thousand samples, which allows for more sonic artifacts and glitchy behavior of the wavetable. Next, let's take a look at two brand new live devices, Channel EQ and Delay. The first device is Channel EQ, which is a flexible yet simple equalizer. It has sweepable mid-frequency control. The low and high settings adapt their EQ curve when boosting or attenuating the audio signal. And it has an 80 Hz high-pass filter. The second new device is called Delay which combines the previous device's simple delay and ping-pong delay into one easy-to-use device. There is a filter section that allows you to filter the delayed signal, four different delay modes including ping-pong delay, and a modulation section that allows you to modulate the filter position and the delay time. The delay time can be synced to your project tempo, or it can be switched to a time-based mode which allows you to set the delay time in milliseconds. The left and right delay lines can be linked or unlinked, which allows you to set different delay times for each channel. Lastly, there's a freeze button. When activated, this causes the delayed audio signal to endlessly cycle within the delay device's buffer. Live 10.1 has a multitude of new automation features to enhance your workflow and sound design. Let's take a look. You can insert predefined automation shapes simply by selecting them from the context menu. The automation shapes can be skewed, compressed and stretched by simply grabbing one of the handles when selecting the automation. You can also invert automation shapes simply by holding the Alt or Option button and then grabbing one of the automation handles to invert the shape. If there's an area in the automation with a large number of breakpoints, these breakpoints can be selected and then using the context menu can be simplified to reduce the total number of breakpoints. In addition to this, when using the pencil tool to manually draw breakpoints, these two are now simplified to reduce the total number of breakpoints created. It is now also possible to add or edit precise breakpoint values within an automation envelope. Simply right-click on a breakpoint and using the context menu, select Edit Value. In the session view, in the detail view of clips, there are now separate automation and modulation buttons that allow you to view these envelopes respectively. Now, let me show you the new keyboard shortcuts and trackpad interactions. The H key in the arrangement view allows you to equally distribute the height of tracks across the screen height. Pressing the W key will allow you to fit the entire song into view. Both of these keyboard shortcuts can also be mapped to a MIDI controller. The arrangement overview for both the session view and the arrangement view are now resizable and clip colors have been improved. Pressing the Z key will zoom any selection made to fit in the available screen space. Pressing the X key allows you to zoom out of your selection. The plus and minus keys also allow you to zoom in and out of your arrangement. If you hold the Alt or Option button, you can also change the track height. By pressing the F key, this temporarily shows you the fade handles and clip fades of audio clips. When the S key is pressed, in the arrangement view or session view, the selected track is soloed. 
The U key in the Arrangement View or Session View allows you to fold or unfold selected tracks. By holding down the Alt or Option button and then pressing the U key allows you to fold or unfold all tracks. Live's new update also introduces trackpad interactions. All zoomable components, including devices, now support pinch to zoom when using a supported trackpad or touchscreen. Finally, let's take a look at freezing tracks, VST plugin compatibility, and exporting audio. With this new update, all tracks that contain a sidechain can now be frozen. Ten point one now introduces the use of VST three plugins as a welcome addition to this update. Finally, when selecting export audio options, you now have the possibility to export send and master effects when selecting individual tracks for export. That concludes this walkthrough video. This update is available to all Live Ten license holders. Goodbye and have fun making music with Live.